Its white supremacy, MTG's call for national divorce, would disenfranchise black voters. Green's plan would increase states' powers while potentially limiting rights protected by the federal government. This week, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, Republican Georgia, declared that Republican and Democratic states in the U.S. need a divorce, prompting many to wonder whether she was calling for Republican-leaning states to secede. Later, Green claimed that she wasn't calling for secession but for the federal government to have less influence, allowing states to determine how to govern for themselves, wording that echoes the states' rights rhetoric that was used to justify seceding from the U.S. in the run-up to the Civil War. We need a national divorce, Green said in a tweet on Monday. We need to separate by red states and blue states and shrink the federal government. Green claimed that such a move is necessary because of sick and disgusting woke culture issues that are supposedly being shoved down our throats. As many observers have noted, grievances about woke culture have become a racist dog whistle among Republicans, who have co-opted the phrase as a convenient political tool to activate the most bigoted elements of their base. On far-right conservative Charlie Kirk's podcast on Tuesday, Green elaborated on her proposal, suggesting that it would allow states to disenfranchise Democratic voters. Kirk noted that Democratic voters under this system could potentially invade red states to influence policy. Once they move to a red state, guess what, maybe you don't get to vote for five years, Green responded. You can live there, and you can work there, but you don't get to bring your values that you basically created in the blue states you came from by voting for Democrat leaders and Democrat policies. Green's proposal is blatantly unconstitutional article for Section 2 of the U.S. Constitution stipulates that the citizens of each state shall be entitled to all privileges and immunities of citizens in the several states, meaning that a person cannot be denied the rights of a state on the basis that they originated from another state. This stipulation was reinforced with the passage of the 14th Amendment, which holds that no state shall deprive any person of life, liberty, or property, without due process of law, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. Several observers noted the racism and authoritarianism inherent in Green's national divorce ideology. Hashtag MTG's loopy five year, waiting period for voting by blue state voters who move to a red state is flagrantly unconstitutional under settled SCOTUS precedent, said Harvard Law School professor Lawrence Tribe. Our country is governed by the Constitution. You swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution, former Representative Liz Cheney, Republican Wyoming, wrote in a tweet directed at Green. Secession is unconstitutional no member of Congress should advocate secession, Marjorie. Marjorie Taylor Greene's call for a national divorce is treasonous and unconstitutional, but it's also white supremacy, journalist Aaron Rupar said. Because ultimately it's another way for white Republicans to disenfranchise black voters. Freelance writer Noah Berlatsky pointed out in public notice that Greene's call for a national divorce was essentially a call for white nationalism. People like Greene, who evoke secession do so as a form of propaganda, Berlatsky wrote. Specifically, they are framing partisan division as regional that allows them to frame themselves as victims under assault by a supposedly more powerful northern aggressor. And it also allows them to pretend that their ideology and political aspirations are about local control, rather than white supremacy.